What's going on, YouTube? Uh, this is your bad tech savvy. It is July 3rd, roughly about 10 30 or almost 11 o'clock p.m. Uh, people are already shooting fireworks, and us dog owners, of course, uh, we're sitting back watching our dogs just run amok, act stupid because all the fireworks are going off. So I'm just trying to be prepared for what's going to happen tomorrow, July 4th. I, uh, I'm in the garage tonight and I'm going over some products and I want to share uh, this particular product that I was telling y'all about that I want to talk about. So let me get into it. Um, for those of you that like to sit back and have a decent drink on your day off, uh, I highly recommend trying this drink right here. I just made a mix myself. It's uh, called Chirac Brandy. It is uh, Corvassier Cognac, uh, some black cherry ice cubes, and Coca-Cola. Mix it all up together, freeze it a little bit to get that chill on it, and then drink it. Man, it is, <laughs> it is absolutely, <laughs> it is so delicious, man. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm having a smile on my face right now because I enjoyed that drink I just had made. But now, hey, I want to go over these products I want to talk to you about real quick. And uh, here we go. All right. This is called the Pedal Commander. This is, the, this is going to be the third series of the product of, of my third video of closing out my power, sound, and throttle control for uh, my series, my, my video series. Um, what I want to talk about on the pedal commander is this product is probably the most and it, I, I, I'm not going to even say that this is probably the absolute first thing that every slingshot owner should purchase for their slingshot we all know that the pedal commander solves the lag issue dealing with the throttle control it gives you a faster response uh, whole nine yards everybody's talking about this product it is a must have product okay but what they're not telling you is and I want to stress this very seriously this is an electronic product that connects to your acceleration it is wire connected and this product is not waterproof at all hell it's not even water resistant and you're talking about a product that's co connected to your acceleration. So, what I, the point I want to bring out to tonight, is me being a tech guy, I'm all about electronics. Y'all know that. I've been doing this for quite some time now. When it comes to electronics, it is an absolute must to be able to protect your components, period. Even though if you get decide to purchase the, the little water, I mean the little plastic cover that goes over the pedal commander, this only makes it water resistant. All right, so that means that it can take on a little bit of water, but looking at this product, it's still open in the back. So that means that it, if it do get wet, and most likely if you drive your slingshot to work, or you are a constant rider every day going to work or so forth. Uh, for me in here in Oklahoma, you know, it could be sunny in the morning, it's raining in the afternoon for lunchtime, and then roughly about time to get ready to come home, it could be snowing. We can get all, all seasons in the same day around here. So when you're talking about an electronic that is connected to your accelerator, your, your acceleration but it's not waterproof you're asking for trouble 
So this is why I'm bringing up these other two products right here. This is called the Magnetic Mix. The Magnetic Mix. It is a cell phone magnetic holder. And you're talking about one of the magnetic holders for a cell phone. The most powerful one that I have came across yet to this day is going to be this product here. And you have your windshield mount that's on your custom windshield this is another package that you have to purchase with this product in order to connect it to your uh, custom windshield mount that goes uh, to your windshield now what most people are not telling you about the pedal commander yeah they're talking about you know uh, the, the acceleration the lag time uh, but what they're not talking about and what they should be stressing the most and that's what my my priority is tonight is to stress that this product is also Bluetooth meaning that it can connect to your cell phone even though you have the cover to put on it to make it water resistant I highly recommend that you install this product and you put it totally out of the way get it out of the way period hide it somewhere and don't bother to try to touch it again as long as you got it installed in your vehicle that's all you need to do because from that point on this device needs to be bluetooth to your cell phone connected to a cell phone mount that can withstand everything that your phone will be going through and that's why i'm bringing up these two products here so my purpose tonight is to get the pedal commander installed install my little water resistant cover on it place find a place for me to install the pedal commander to get it totally out of the way and then connect my cell phone bluetooth to the pedal commander and then install my cell phone to my magnetic max mount here by mob armor so that is my purpose for the night so make a long story short this is a must-have product the pedal commander and i'm going to introduce you to two more products that you need to get to connect your cell phone to your mob pedal by bluetooth but your mount is connected i mean your cell phone is connected to this mob armor mount get the pedal commander out the way out of the picture you don't need to be trying to put your hand in some type of corner and touching on the pedal commander and all this type of stuff no get it out the way so that's my purpose for tonight let me install this bad boy and then we're going to go from there to look for a, a good place to put the cap pedal commander and then we're going to connect to it on my cell phone with the magnetic mount holding my cell phone so y'all stay tuned gopro stop recording all right youtube so let's go ahead and get these uh products installed let's get started set the camera up so you all can see a little bit uh, hopefully you can see all right, first thing we need to do is take a flat tilt screwdriver and go down to the accelerator gas pedal side and clip the acceleration cable to disconnect it. All right, we're going to open up the pedal commander box. Let me pull everything out of the box here get it up there this uh this install is is uh, pretty decent uh, I would give it maybe a one out of five for its uh, difficulty so in other words this is a pretty easy install getting it out the box is probably gonna be the hardest thing <laughs> hardest thing to do I
And as you notice, that pedal commander has two sides to it. The connection that you pull from the accelerator. Oh, first thing I want to say is, before you even start, you got to make sure you disconnect your battery. Uh, I think I said that earlier, but I want to emphasize it again. So, disconnect. Make sure the clip goes down. Now the side that you disconnected, you gotta reconnect it from the pedal commander side. I'm trying to squeeze up under here so I can see what I'm doing while I'm re recording for you. Push it down. All right, and there we go. That's how easy it is to quick, quickly connect it. Now, what you need to do now is determine where you want to go with it. And like I said earlier, you want to mount this in an area where it can be seen. You can touch it if you need to, but you want to put it in an area where it's going to be water, have some type of coverage from rain or water or when you're washing the vehicle or whatever it is that water may come in contact with it. So you want to route your cable up out the way. I don't know how much you can see, so let me back the camera up a little bit. Next thing you want to do is grab you something like a zip tie, put it somewhere where it'll be out of the way of the accelerator. What I'm going to do is hide mine behind my L1 mat right here. So I'm going to pull it out to the side. I'm going to still zip lock, I mean, I'll still zip tie it somewhere, but I want it out the way, period. It's amazing how things get so much harder when you're trying to make a video. I hate that crap. Okay. Got it going up out of the way. And let me grab me a zip tie and lock it up here somewhere. So. Up out of the way. And I'll grab my zip tie right quick. Hold on. I grab my little zip tie. I want mine to be somewhere up in here somewhere where I could. Come back and tie it down where I want it. Now I want mine to be somewhat visible, but out the way. So I probably end up putting mine. Well, 
where they have a little bit of coverage so it'll probably be somewhere around here if y'all can't see that so I'll probably be mining mine right, up, right around here where it'll have some coverage up under the dash but it's still visible to me so all I gotta do is just clean off the surface here put my little velcro on the back of it or it's two sided tape or whatever it came with and that'll be my installation here so my extra cable will be going behind my F1 mat so let me go ahead and do that right quick and I'll be right back wipe off the back of this wipe off up here somewhere so I can put it in place grab my little velcro to my velcro uh, I want the south side up on the here Man, this got to be the stickiest Velcro I ever came across. The backing don't want to come off. All right, man, getting this little backing off this. Off this Velcro is something else, all right? So I got it all. Like I said, I want mine to be where I can still see it, but it has a little protection up under this cover here, under the dash. All right, once you mount it, like I said, I'm gonna run my cable behind my F1 mat, but once you do mount it, you can come in and pull it off. And that little protective cover that you got for it, Go ahead and put it on lock it back in place and there you go I don't like that let me see if I can put it on the whole thing something to that effect See if the whole thing can go in there. Okay, we got the whole thing in there. Now we got it on. Now it's simply just velcro it back up. Okay, now it's out the way. It's being protected. I can still see it, but it's out the way. okay I'll fix that up a little bit better all right and that's it that's the installation for the powder commander now what I'm gonna do now is install the next product and then I'm gonna combine these two together and then we go from there so y'all hold on 
GoPro, start recording. Hi right, YouTube, I had to go ahead and change out my zip tie, get a longer one so I can mount it behind, mount the wiring behind my F1 mat. So let's go ahead uh, and get this second product installed. The second product is the, hopefully you can see it, it's the Mobnetic Max. This is a foam mount. Uh, it is a magnetic foam mount and it comes in two parts. The mount itself and the second part is the portion where it connects to your windshield bracket. So opening up the second package, take out the windshield mount bracket, the screw, the, there's a screw that comes with it so you have to take it off. I, I want my magnetic mount to be the top one because uh, this is where my cell phone will be going. Now I have different types of cell phone mounts but I wanted to go with this one for the simple fact uh, it comes with accessories that you can put on the back of your cell phone case not the phone. Put it on the back of your case and you can mount the phone up on your dash or you can use one of the ground mount you can place your mount anywhere in the vehicle and then connect your magnetic mount to it so you can basically as long as you got placements where you can put the magnetic mount surface you can put your cell phone anywhere in here that you want uh, so that's why I'm going with this particular uh, phone phone holder okay the magnetic mount itself it comes with a lot of parts but the one I'm more concerned about these are the discs I was talking about as long as you place them where you want them you can move your mount anywhere you want to uh, you can have it I don't know off on the side whatever wherever it can fit that's where you, wherever you can fish uh, put these surface plates at that's where you can put your cell phone mount bracket okay now that I got the cell phone mount, this is what it looks like. I'm trying to share it with you on the, all right. It's got a rotating knob on it and everything. Both sides of the Mac, of the mount is super, is a very high performance magnet. Uh, just simply once you screw on the surface plate on up here, hopefully you can see it. Once you screw it in, I had already took out my ball. Place your surface mount and just listen to how strong this thing is. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. Okay. Now, in the package itself, and this is what I was talking about, you have a placement where you can, some brackets, that you can put on the back of your cell phone case. Uh, one side is magnetic. As you can see, it'd be this side here. And the other side is two-sided two tape type of thing. Let me see if I can get this one on. I think it's so hot in the garage that all this stuff had melted in here overnight while I had it out here. So let me try to get it off the best way I can. Okay. All right. Like I said, on a cell phone case, you want to put this mag magnet on your cell phone case. Do not put a magnet on any type of electronics directly. Uh, just like computers, you put a magnet on it, uh, that computer will start malfunctioning. It's the same with a cell phone. So make sure your phone is inside of a case. Place your... Say, how do I want my phone going up? I want it like that, and I want it diagonal okay so that's it now I can place my cell phone wherever my magnetic mount is at and I can move it in any direction that I want to whatsoever uh, my phone is probably gonna be the biggest thing that I use in my slingshot and so and like I said wherever I have a mount at uh, a surface bracket I can put it there and Hey, basically put my cell phone anywhere I want to now that I have this installed I got my command my pedal commander I got my cell phone mount and my cell phone what I want to do now is connect my pedal commander 
Bluetooth to my cell phone. That is how I'll be operating my pedal commander from this point on. Once I start up the vehicle, I already uh, connected my battery and stuff. Uh, turn on my pedal commander. It should come up in city mode. I'm going to leave it in city mode. And when I want to do any changes, I'll be making those changes here from my cell phone. That is my whole purpose. So let me go ahead and start this up and see exactly what's going to happen. If I get any type of prompt code on the dash or on the display panel. So let's see what happens. Nothing so far. looking like the pedal commander is in city mode I don't know if y'all can see it or not because of the cover but city mode is highlighted okay now from this point on what I got to do is download the, the app now, I think I already did that earlier Vehicle mode, uh, self pedal commander while using this app. And this is from what I understand when you first use the pedal commander, uh, I mean, use your Bluetooth for your pedal commander, you have to allow it to have, uh, give it permission for the apps that it needs to operate on your cell phone. So, whatever is asking you, if it's giving you, if it's asking you to give it permission, you must give it permission. So while using this app, see only time. So while using this app, I right. allow Pedal Commander to send notifications. You want to do, you want to allow. Welcome to the big upgrade. Now, from what I understand, and, and this is with any electronic electronic device, when you first attempt to use it. It's going to ask you to upgrade it. If you're familiar with the product and you know how it already operates, I'm going to say it again. If you already know how it operates, then yes, you know if the upgrade is messed up or if you have some type of issues where the product is not running correctly because you have dealt with it before. But if you have never dealt with the product before, then I highly recommend. Uh, this pin code for this phone is uh, I don't mind anybody seeing it because this phone ain't going nowhere. All right, now anyway, welcome to the big upgrade. Okay, let's get started. Check out the home page to keep up to the dates with the latest news. Revamp mode screen more beautiful. Okay, select region. I'm in the US, select brand. I don't even know if it's on here. Yeah, Polaris. Oh my bad. It's on there. I select model. I see slingshot. Okay. I'm impressed. Let's see. Uh Select body, all body types 2017, all body types 2015 to 2016. So it's a 2017 and above. Select engine. Uh, I'm going to say all engines. See, update and save. Are you aware of your vehicle acceleration lag? Yes. Have you ever used a throttle controller before? Yes. Do you have a pedal commander? Yes. Let's see. Allow pedal commander to find, connect to, and determine the relative position of the nearby device. 
allow. Okay. I'm going to say sign in with Google. I'm going to turn. I don't want y'all seeing that. All right. Sign in with Google. Found. All right. Add a new device. Scan again. There it is, Petal Commander. Please enter the code on the back of your Petal Commander. Please enter the code on the back of your Petal Commander. All right. So y'all hold on. But I'm just showing y'all the process of what you got to go through. All right, bear with me. Let me look up at this code. I'll be right back. All right, I had to take care of all that. Uh, got all the information in. Got the PC code in. All right, please enter a name for your pedal commander. Of course, you know, I'm going to name it Deathstroke. stroke and save now from this point on anytime I want to operate my pedal commander I'll be simply doing it from my phone it's already set on city zero and I'm gonna leave it on city zero for the simple fact uh, all I do is drive back and forth to work going to the city I mean going going to work and since I have to drive through the city I'm gonna keep it on the city mode uh, once I'm done with all the mods and adding all the different mods on the slingshot let me turn this off all right once I'm done adding all the mods on the slingshot and I'm ready to pull it back out of the garage that's when I start going back through all these videos that I made for these different products and do a review on them. But as of right now, the only thing I wanted to show you guys was it is best for you to get this pedal commander. That should be one of the, this is a must have product uh, for a slingshot. Once you get it and you install it, put it in an area where it is hard to get wet, like know in the back back here up under your dash uh, I was gonna put it right here up under my radio I mean up under my uh, startup panel here but I didn't feel like cutting the cable trying to get it in there and adding more cable to it uh, this is an electronic it has simple wire you could do that the whole purpose I'm trying to bring up is once you install it put it out the way and leave it out the way do your modifications or do your settings through your cell phone and leave the pedal commander alone. So that, that way it'll stay dry. It, it, it's in a location where it's going to be okay for you. You can still see it and everything. And for some reason, you can always go back and manually input the information if you want to. All right. Other than that, I hope my point that I brought to you was this is an electronic device that's connected to your accelerator all right you can bluetooth the device to your phone and operate it that way but this device need to stay in a in a cool in a dry area because you're talking about an electronic device connected to an accelerator and if it get water damaged then it's no telling what type of malfunction you might end up having be safe about it put it away leave it alone and operate it through your cell phone i hope my point is made i hope i brought the point out there's what, what i was trying to bring out to you uh, i hope you understand what i'm saying um other than that that concludes my video uh for this is my third video my final video for my power uh 
sound and throttle control. I just installed the pedal commander and I'm done. So from this point on, my videos I'll be making from this point, um, I still have some a whole lot of exterior decoration to do. I, in fact, it, <laughs> it, this gonna this death stroke is gonna look totally different, and I'm hoping y'all ready for it. Uh, for what the outcome is going to be. I'm telling you, it's going to be fantastic. I put my thoughts together and got everything the way I wanted to, to go. Got all the colors in. Still waiting on a couple of minor products, but it's no big thing. Uh, there is a couple of wings that still able, uh, still do to come in uh, for the interior or keep bringing wind in. Uh, have another wing in the back coming in. A uh, whole lot of more stuff coming in. Uh, the air pods for bringing ventilation in, um, th those are still due to come in. A whole lot of products, a whole lot of products are coming in. And like I said, I'm trying to get it ready for the contest that's coming up here in July. I thought it's going to be the 1st of July, but I, you know, it, I guess it, it didn't happen because of the 4th of July. So somewhere down the road in the next couple of weeks, uh, there will be a contest, an auto, uh, auto motorcycle contest, and I plan on attending uh, me and my son, both vehicles, and uh, we'll, we'll be there. I'll be bringing that, that, uh, that contest to y'all wherever it's going to be, whenever it's going to be, but right now I don't know. I Stay tuned for my next video. From this point on, whatever product come in, those are the videos I'll be making. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think, how I'm doing. If there's a video that you would like for me to make or go over a little some more in depth, uh, please let me know by leaving a comment. And uh, hey, tell your boy about tell your boy tell your friends about your boy. Uh, I'm out doing what I can as much as I can. Um, I'm in the mind frame of just going and going and going, and I I need you guys to make that progress happen for me. Y'all stay tuned. That's my spiel for the day. Y'all have a good one. GoPro. Stop recording. Oh, and have a wonderful 4th of July. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>